So I've been in Haiku for years, but I've never really explored the place because I'm an introvert. I don't care what you people say, <laughs> it is we are introverting. Let me introvert. There are a lot of introverts that do YouTube. So I decided to do some research on the top five places to visit in Haiku and give you guys the power to decide where I should go to. I'd appreciate it if you watch the video to the end and comment down below. The location with the most mentions in the comment section wins. Starting off at number five, we have the Holiday Beach. The Holiday Beach is a typical place for touring and having fun at the beach. The total length of the beach is six kilometers. It is divided into four areas, the sunbathe area on the beach, sport area, ocean food area and the holiday area. There are many spots and performances around the beach. All of them are free except for the food. You have to pay for the food. Moving on to number 4 is the Hainan Tropical Wildlife Garden. This is the first theme garden on tropical wildlife in China. It is actually a tropical zoological garden which imitates the environment of the world, in which visitors can take a look at various kinds of tropical animals in their relatively wild states. Number 3 on our list, we have Haichi Yo Water Park. The water park is a comprehensive sea park with marine landscapes, rare fish, animal performances and entertainment. The park displays the unique fishes of Hainan and other rare animals. It also has some animal-human interactive areas. Coming up next, we have Tilu Old Street. Tilu Old Street is said to be a wonderful area of Haiku, which is characterized by nice temples, old houses from past centuries, and lots of restaurants, bars, cafes, and beautiful bronze statues. Now, before we get into the last mention please don't forget to like the video and subscribe it helps a lot thank you now the last mention for this video is the Leicheong UNESCO global geopark it has a variety of volcanoes and is a natural geological museum at the crater you can get a breathtaking view of the urban areas of Haiku and the Tiongcho Strait. You can also walk along the trail to the bottom of the caldera. Not only is it cool, there are also many plants forming a natural oxygen bar. And that's all we have for today's video. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel before leaving and also drop a comment on where you think I should take a trip to. See you guys next week. Peace.